Okay, welcome to day three of the National Hunt over here at Haydock, which is also very close to Aintree. And it's another Merseyside race track that we're going to race at. And, and this one's over two miles, six furlongs, and all to one forty handicaps. And San Joachim for D. Thompson. Oh my god, James for Derek Hinton. Consequence of Stars for Joshua Sutherland. Star Fan for Kevin Meenahan. Yuna for David Robertson. And the Bear for Derek Hinton. Super Bad for Kevin Meenahan. Stage Fright for Graham Clutterpup. Rare Rabbit for Martin Leader. Mary Mary for Cara, I guarantee. Warren for Stu Gray. Twelve Paces and Miss Larwood Arctic for Doug Warren. And Emma Wood and Yeoman Spirit for Alex Cherry. I couldn't find any fun facts about Haydock. Other than it's also in Liverpool. Uh, we're straight over the first hurdle. Oh, sorry, should I say fence? It looked like a hurdle, but maybe they've. Uh, it really is a fence here at Haydock. They're not very big. So I was waiting for it to settle down. It's 12 paces that leads us into the second, takes it well and fast, and has got himself a couple of lengths advantage over Una the Grey against the fence, consequence of stars, stage fright, Mary Mary out wide in uh, the correct Carl Arroganti silks, and then Miss Larwood Arctic as they go into the third, and everybody's jumped that well. Just towards the rear at the moment is Emma Wood and Br'er Rabbit against the fence, the black silks of Warren, and oh my god, James mid pack. The Grey Horse Yeoman Spirit. In between those is Starfen. Super bad over against the fence. And we've got uh, San Joaquin. They're into the fourth. The leader didn't take it at all well. Cracked his knuckles as he went over that 12 paces. But still got a lead into the ditch. Takes that one much better. And gets away from it well. And it's still 12 paces that leads us from stage fright. And then we've got Mary Mary. And the Grey Yuna. Consequence of stars. San Joaquin. In between those is, oh my god, James. And Star Fennon's super bad in the green silks for Kevin Meenaham. We've got the bear, Yeoman Spirit, the other grey. Between those is Miss Larwood Arctic. And the three at the back are Emma Wood, Warren and Br'er Rabbit. We go over the six. Oh, we've lost one there. Star Fennon's gone. Kevin Meenaham, that jockey doesn't look too well there. He's got his legs stuck up in the air. Hopefully he'll be okay. I'm pretty sure the horse was fine. We take the seventh and everybody gets over that. So it's still 12 paces led from the beginning. Looks quite comfortable. Leads by about five to Mary Mary, who's just taken a hold. And we've got stage fright, consequence of stars, Yuna. Oh my good, James San Yukin in the white silks. And outside of that is the bear. They make the eighth, which is tenth from home. They've got another ten to go. And, uh, well over a mile and a half to travel still. So it's still 12 paces. Jockey just giving him a few reminders, keeping his mind on the job, going into the ninth, takes it well. This is the remainder of the field, Bar Miss Flarwood Arctic. So Doug Warren leads, and he's also got the one at the back as they go past the finishing post. Another mile and a half left to run. Another nine fences to jump and a circuit to go. Haydock can be a left-handed or right-handed track. I'm pretty sure we're always left-handed at Haydock, but you can run the other way if you wish. There's not too many courses in the UK that can uh, are both left and right-handed. Always one to watch out, actually, when you bet at Haydock. Certain horses are better at going left than right. So 12 paces leads him into the 10th. Takes it well. This is a remainder. Although his lead's been cut back now to about three to Mary Mary. And oh my god, James. And stage fight for Graham Clatterbuck on the outside of that is Darren Thompson's San Joaquin. Black silks of Stu Gray's Warren still there. Consequence of the stars on the inside. Miss Larwood Arctic at the rear went over that one pretty poor. Getting himself a little bit disconnected from the rest at the moment. But we've got the clarets of Doug Silks first and last. They go into the 12th. Better jumps by the leaders. There's 12 paces and Mary Mary with just over seven furlongs to go. And then we've got Oh My Job. God, James. Consequence of stars on the outside. The Grey making a good move now is Yuna. In between those is San Joachim. Rare Rabbit's got better order now. Yeoman Spirit gets the fences stage fright. They take the 13th. Everybody's over it. And it's still 12 paces, though. Leading by a good couple of lengths. Looking to take the first of day three. Into the 14th, the ditch. Everybody makes that as well. It's still 12 paces, although Jockey's starting to have to push him along a little bit now with five and a half furlongs to go. We've still got four to jump, so it's 12 paces from Mary Mary. Br'er Rabbit's still looking quite comfortable moving up on the outside. He's, oh my God, James. San Joaquin under a little bit of pressure now, as is the bear. But it's still 12 paces. Takes him around the left turn into the 15th. 
still leads, jumps it well, gets away with it okay, there's a remainder of the pack but it's still 12 paces, Mary Mary, Br'er Rabbit, being pushed along now on the outside is Consequence of Stars, in between horses is super bad, wider still is the White Silks of San Joaquin running on well now but it's still 12 paces, 3 furlongs to go, we've only got a couple left to jump so it's 12 paces from Consequence of Stars coming out of the pack, super bad, San Joaquin, these 3 look set to challenge, a grey Yuna running on well now but it's 12 paces, takes him into the 17th, gets up forever at first, but San Yonkin comes up to challenge. We've also lost, oh my god, James there at that one, and it's San Yonkin and super bad. 12 paces, looks like he's got nothing left, only got a furlong and a half to go. One to jump, and San Yonkin that leads, leads by a couple to super bad, gets over it well, but super bad was faster and over the top. And here comes Burr and Rabbit out of the pack and Warren, but I think San Yonkin's going to hang on to this, got less than half a furlong to run. San Yonkin for Dave, Darren Thompson's going to take it, and super bad of getting in the hands. A couple of commentators, horses finish third and fourth. We'll probably have a little argue over that. So it's San Joaquin for Darren Thompson. It takes it off a top weight of 12 stone. It's a 12 stone uh, week, I think. And it's super bad for Kevin Mean Ham was second. Brer Rabbit for Martin Leedham was third. Fourth was Warren for Stu Gray. Fifth was 12 paces for Doug Warren, the long-time leader, but managed to hang on there and get a few quid in his pocket.